Do you think I'm a Santa Claus? <laughs> Not sure, so let me start. So do you still have your imagination that you had at 10 years old? Or do you still have a dream that you had at 10 years old? So children's dreams are always very clear, straightforward, or even fundamental. But at the same time, it's not so easy to realize as they are. But slightly change the children's dream into different perspectives, it can be a very interesting invention or project. So in my talk, I'd like to introduce my three inventions as a kind of uh, example and share with you the importance of uh, changing perspectives. The first one, so do you want to fly? Or have you ever thought about you could fly? Like a bird? Or like Trimon? Also, this, this is another uh, otona no jijo, and I can show you a real Doraemon, but you can imagine this Doraemon, or Takegopta. So, do you have ever thought about using Takegopta to fly anywhere? So, maybe this is not a feasible idea. So, I think the children's dream is very clear, but the realizing is not easy. But if we change somewhere, or some perspective, it can be a very interesting project, and that's actually what we are doing. So instead of direct flying yourself, but this technology let you think or let you feel as if you are flying. The idea is very simple. So this is actually my original sketch. So if you turn your head, and the computer control helicopter also turns as you your motion, and the camera mounted on the helicopter that transmits the image, and you can see the image using the head mount display. So this is actual system. So when C works. The helicopter also works, uh, move, flies, and she, she turns, the helicopter turns accordingly. That accustomed to this motion, so that you can be a helicopter, so you can go through anywhere, very uh, com com uh, complicated area. So this technology let you uh, can, be a fly, uh, can be flying like a helicopter, so you, basically you can go anywhere. For example, so maybe you can go to the soccer stadium and fly in the soccer stadium, and watch the game as you wish, any floor, any point. Or you can go to anywhere, maybe on, on top of the mountain, or you go to the other place, or maybe even though you, you, can, uh, you have to go to a disaster area to inspect something. So this technology lets you uh, go to the, any place by using a com combination of a helicopter and a human. Or have you ever thought about you will be the outside of your body? So have you ever thought about your outside body? Or well, I think that I have thought that before you die, your mind is going to outside, and you, you, the, my, your mind is looking at you. But using this kind of technology, the, your eye can be the outside of you and you watch yourself. So for instance, you are doing sports like this. So you go jogging. I think nobody sees what kind of uh, form you take while you're jogging. But uh, in this case, the helicopter follows, and uh, you can also see yourself from behind. So this kind of technology can be, uh, I think, adding a new eye to the human. So the, from the starting from the very simple children's dream, like a flying, like a bird, but it can be translated to several different projects. So this is, I think, the one ex example of how to change the children, children's dream to a realistic project. Okay, so next. Do you want to be happy? Yes? No? No? <laughs> or maybe can make money, make you happy? Maybe yes, maybe not. But I think the making money itself is very challenging. But uh, when you feel happiness, you smile. And when you don't, you don't smile. But there is very interesting psychological theory called somatic psychology that uh, the happiness is not just, uh, sorry, smiling is not just a result of happiness. But happiness and smiling is uh, very interchangeable. So as the, uh, psychologist William James said, we don't laugh because we are happy, but we are happy because we laugh. 
So having smile self can, can cause your mental status a, a positive way. So for example, there is a very interesting um, experiment. So there are two groups. And one group, the right hand side, hold pencil like this. And the left hand side, hold this, that. So this group, your face will be smile, slightly, a kind of smile. So it's, very, it's a very, very artificial way to make a smile facial expression. But even uh, this artificial situation, this group has a positive score when apply a, a psychological test. So it, I think if you want to be happy, one way to uh, solution is to hold pencil like this one. <laughs> okay. But uh, those, those findings, this is a very, very, I think, exciting area. So the smiling and the mental is, can be an interacting uh, phenomenon. So then these, those findings brought us to invent a new digital appliances uh, called happiness counter. So this is a very, very simple device. It consists of a camera that uh, recognizes your facial expression, smile facial expression, and uh, smile, very simple smile icon. So it can basically respond to what, when you smile. So we can install this device in many uh, situations in home. For example, this is a mirror. So when in front of you, uh, this mirror, it responds when you smile. Okay. So suppose that this is a dressing mirror in your room. <laughs> and without this uh, smile icon, you just, just uh, not, not so smiling. But uh, if the system responds to you, I think you are trying to smile more, or you will be more aware about uh, smiling. So I think this is even very, very simple technology. So the facial exception by uh, imaging is a uh, uh, very established technology. So it can cause uh, the, your uh, awareness of a smile. So this is even more challenging one. So it's a refrigerator that won't open until you smile. You don't understand. So when you want to open this, you have to smile. OK. So it's challenge. This refrigerator challenge you to smile <laughs> every day. So this is a little bit uh, extreme example, but we actually uh, did an experiment, and we installed this uh, refrigerator in the home with seniors. Okay, so so she's uh, accustomed to this smiling, so she becomes uh, more happy, uh, happy. And so we installed this system in a home with seniors. So this is a picture of smile face at the first day. So this is a little bit clumsy. So she, he's tried to smile, but uh, I think he doesn't smile so often normally. <laughs> so it's a little bit actually clumsy. But uh, OK, so 10 days later, so he looks more natural. <laughs> so thank you. So even, um, thank you so even this kind of very simple technology can actually change the, your activity or mental status. I think that the, uh, the doing the mental health care system using technology is a very, very difficult, very, very challenging area. But I think the smile facial expression is one of the uh, possibility to uh, make you happy. Or we can install uh, this device or this technology in any places, like uh, as you guess. So this is alarm clock. OK, so normally it turn on, doing alarm. So she Try to stop this, but uh, just push the button, it doesn't stop. So, okay, she <laughs> has to smile, and uh, she, so she can have a good morning, good day from the beginning. Okay, so we, I think there are a lot of, of opportunity, possibility to having smile recognition in the, everywhere. Okay, and the third one, the last one, uh, did you already abandon very clear and existing problem in front of you? So when you have a child, you, I think the world is kind of mysterious or irrational. So you, maybe you ask, keep asking a uh, kind of stupid question like, uh, when do I have to bring an umbrella on a rainy day? So I, mean, I think umbrella is meaningless. Or when I have to eat something to, to live or something. But maybe these kind of stupid questions as we grow up, we abandon to say or ignore there is a problem. But uh, some of the stupid questions or some of the very, very child questions are very important, uh, important to create a new technology or new inventions. So for instance, so what's wrong with this picture? So this looks like a very cozy home. 
But you notice that there is too many sunshine, too much sunshine. So it should not, should not be so comfortable to sit down these chairs. Or the chair itself, or furniture itself, maybe got s u n b u r n But uh, just, uh, I think, closing the window with uh, drawing the curtain, is, that also blocks the nice view to the outside. So there is a contradiction of some kind of openness and uh, kind of how, how to keep the environment. But we are too accustomed to this kind of situation. So we ignore or we can notice that there is a problem. So similar example, so there is a fruit on the table, and again, there is strong sunshine, so the fruit may get damaged. So suppose that you have a magic brush, just a, a shadow brush, like you can draw a shadow like this. It's a very, very dry kind of uh, idea. So you can draw a shadow, And even the sunlight, the sun moves, but the shadow stays in the same place. So, so it's, it's very, very uh, kind of a child idea. And also the shadow brush is not existing. It's very difficult to realize. But actually, what we, we, this is what we are creating. So this is called programmable shadows. So we can create a computer controlled window that can be changed mod- at a transparency and then keep the shadow at the same place. So this is the material we're using. So we can change, it can change the transparency by adding electricity. So by controlling this in a modular way, we can create a kind of wall or a kind of window. So if they are all, all are the transparent, it becomes window, and this is opaque, this is a wall. But we can control any, any place. So it can be regarded as kind of a, a coarse ambient display, or kind of computer display. But uh, by using this technology, now they, I think just the painting the uh, shadow on the brush becomes possible, as you see. So when, as we know, the location or direction of the sunlight, so the window can calculate how, when, uh, when the user designated this area should be dark, so the opaque area can be changed according to the location of the sun. So now I think the children's idea of brushing the shadow on the table becomes possible by combining this kind of new technologies. Okay. Or maybe suppose that there is a lounge in a hotel with a very open glass. So it looks like, look nice. But also there is strong sunshine. So these um, tables are not comfortable. So we can, maybe we can say that this, this area should be dark. And then the window can change accordingly. Okay. So finally, actually, the, this talk, topic, uh, the title was Everyone has a secret switch in the mind. In the mind. So what kind of switch do you have? So this is a switch, and this is labeled UIH and 10. So that means this is a switch that can change your perspective from your age to 10. So just, okay, so also it's called Kodomo switch. Okay, so, and, and then you... you In your mind, you turn on, on, and you can have a 10 years old perspective. And you can see the real world from a very different perspective, very, very different view. So you may come up with some variable idea. And then you can go, this is important, uh, this will go, go back to the original, your age. Otherwise, you can uh, keep going to the ch- uh, children. But you can go back, and then you can think about the children's image or children, children's imagination, dream, can be realized by using today's technology or your skill. So I think this changing the view from the age, from 10 years old and this age, is very important for inventing new ideas. So I think everybody has this kind of switch already in your mind, but you didn't notice how to turn it on, or you didn't try how to turn it on. So please raise your hand if you, okay, raise your hand, okay, and try to turn your mind into 10 years old, so I think you can get something new. So please, one, two, three, click. Okay. Oh, okay. And, and you, you, can, you can, a new perspective. So thank you very much. <laughs>